Hi boys and girls, we're gonna get started on another OG lesson. You need your not writing hand so we can tap out our phonemes, our sounds. Here we go, let's try this word. The word is red, R ed. Three sounds, three phonemes. How about the word luck, l -uck. Three sounds, three phonemes. How about the word do, d -oo. Ah, only two sounds, two phonemes. How about the word goose? G -oops. Three sounds, three phonemes. How about the word white? W -i -t. Three sounds, three phonemes. How about the word fight? F -i -t. Three sounds, three phonemes. All right, let's review some of our closed syllable words. Remember, a closed syllable means it ends in a consonant. It makes the vowel say its sound. Here we go. Mad, ox, win, cot, lad. Rip, bat, sod. Let's read these again. This time, you read them at the same time as me. It will sound like we are talking. Here we go. Mad. Ox, win, cut, lad, rip, bat, sod. Let's talk about a couple of these words. Remember, sod is good soil and grass. Grown-ups love good sod in their yard to have, be good sod. It's very healthy dirt and grass. Remember, lad is a little boy, cut. That's something you sleep on, like an extra bed. Kind of doesn't look like a bed. It looks, um, it's it's like it works like a bed. It's like maybe something you might need when you're camping or some daycares have them to lay on for a nap time. All right, let's read these. If you like to play in the snow, are you ready? Mad, ox, win, cot, lad, rip bat sod. How about read these if you like the holiday, the Halloween, where you get to dress up. Here we go. Mad, ox, win, cot, lad. Rip, bat, sod. Can we read backwards? Let me hear you loud and proud. Sod, bat, rip, lad, cot, win, ox, mad. Let's see. Let's play a little game. I'm thinking of a word and it means the same. It's a synonym to angry. Do you know the word? Mad. Right. I'm thinking of a word and it's a synonym. It means the same as a little boy. It's the lad. Right. I'm thinking of a word and it means the same. It's a synonym. To the word tear. Your paper will tear, it will rip. I'm thinking of a word and it's the opposite, an antonym to lose. You lose a game, the opposite is you win. Right. This time, I want to see if you can beat me reading these. I'm going to X out the word. You try to say it before me. Ready? Bat. Cot, ox, rip, win, mad, sod, lad. Good job. Now we're going to work on more close syllables, but we've been working on a new vowel sound. U says a uh, in a close syllable word. These are still closed syllables. They still end in a consonant. Closed syllable, U says uh, as in up. And you point your finger up. Are you ready to read these with me? You echo after me. Fun. Ooh, you might have to use your B checker. It's a D. Dud. Bud. Rut. Rub. Nut. Jug. Sun, cup. Let's read these again. Maybe you read them at the same time as me and we'll go a little bit faster, a little bit smoother. Fun, 
dud, bud, rut, rub, nut, jug, sun, cup. All right, let's talk about a couple of these. A dud. I think of a dud as something that just doesn't work out, like a firework. Maybe you set off a firework or you watch one and you think it's going to go and it doesn't do anything. It's a dud. It didn't work out. That's a dud. Let's see. A bud. Ooh, those are tricky because of the B's and D's. A bud is just a tiny flower that's getting ready to open. We've talked about a rut, a deep trench, a deep hole, like I think of after it rained and someone drove through the yard and then I see their tire, where their tires were. It's a deep groove. A rut is another name, is a groove. And you know what a jug is? A big pitcher, a big, a big container that holds something. All right. How about we read these and you read them if you love to eat pizza. I do. Here we go. Fun, dud, bud, rut. Rub, nut, jug, sun, cup. How about read these if you love to eat pancakes. One of my favorites again. Fun, dud, bud, rut. Rub, nut, jug, sun, cup. Let's see, do we have any rhyming words? I see some nut, rut, and nut. They're in the ut family. Oh, I see some more dud and bud. They're in the ud family. How about fun and sun? They're in the un family. Oh, look at these, they don't rhyme. They have a different consonant. They're not in the same family. Rub, jug, and cup. Did not have a rhyming partner. All right, let's find your pen or your pencil. Find your paper. Let's put our name and our date. We will get ready to write some of our sounds and our words. All right, here we go. Put your finger on the rectangle. You're gonna write the lowercase letter that I say. Write me the lowercase letter P. I like to start at the dull line, come down, go back up and around. Your P comes down a little bit. Write me the lowercase letter A. Write me the lowercase letter C. Write me the lowercase letter G. That's the monkey's tail. All right, put your finger on the oval. This time I'm gonna say the sound and you write the letter for that sound. Here we go. Write me the lowercase letter that says V. Yes, as in van. Write me the lowercase letter that says R, as in rat. Write me the lowercase letter that says fish. Yes. Write me the lowercase letter that says k as in cat. Yes, it's a C. Put your finger on the square. This time I'm gonna say the keyword and you write the letter for that keyword that matches. Here we go, the keyword is rat. What letter starts rat? Matches rat, it's that R. The next one, the keyword is itch, as if I'm trying to itch my nose. What is the letter for that? I starts itch. The next keyword is cat. What starts cat? It's that C, right? The last one, the keyword is pig. What letter goes with pig, starts pig? It's that P, right? Put your finger on the triangle. This time I'm gonna say a word and you listen to the first sound, the beginning sound. What's the beginning sound of pal? P. You write that letter. It's that P, right. The next word is net. What's the first sound, the beginning sound of net? Hmm, you write an N, right. The next word is bus. 
was the first sound, the beginning sound of bus? But you write that B. Do you need to use your B checker? Make sure you have it. The next word is lap. What's the beginning sound of lap? That first sound, L. You write an L. All right, we need our tap or hand again to help us spell our closed syllable words. Our first word to spell, to tap out is caught. Ready? K -ot. Cot starts like cat. The keyword cat is C. Cot begins the same way. K -ot. C O T. Our next word. Get your tapper out. Win. Ready? W in. Three sounds, three letters. W in. W I N. Win. Your next word is sod. Ready? Sod. Sod. S O D. Make sure you made a D. Our next word is lad. Ready? L A D. L A D. L-A-D, lad. Let's read these words again. You read them at the same time, ready? Caught, win, sod, lad. All right, put your finger on the diamond. And we've been working on that new vowel sound. You says uh in a closed syllable word. Let's say that. You says uh. You says uh in a closed syllable word. You says uh in a closed syllable word. You says uh. All right, let's flip our paper over. We're gonna work on some of our closed syllable words where the you says uh. Your first word, get your tapper out, is fun. Fun. Three sounds, three letters. Fun. F U N, fun. Number two, the word is jug. Ready? J U G. Three phonemes, three sounds. J U G. J U G, jug. Your next word is. But, but, three sounds, three letters. But, now did you make a B? B checker. B U T, but. Our last word, cup. Ready? C U P. Three sounds. C U P. Cup. Let's read these again. See our. U says a uh, in a closed syllable word. Closed syllable with a consonant on the end. Here we go. Fun, jug, butt, cup. All right, we have a brand new memory word today. And it's this one. Let's look at it. T-H-E-Y says they. Remember T-H starts like thumb. A. There's no A in they. I kind of have to say that to help me remember it. There's no A in they. Sounds like an A. The E-Y can say the A sound, but there's no A in they. Ready to skywrite it with me? Oh, before we skywrite, let's talk, let's use it in a sentence. They means many people. They are my friends. They are in my family. They are my pets. Can you think of a sentence? Here we go. Get your best skywriting hand. Let's look at it and spell it. T. H-E-Y says they. T-H-E-Y says they. T-H-E-Y says they. Let's write it. Let's say it as we write it. Ready? T-H-E-Y says they. T-H-E-Y. Y says they. T H E Y says they. T 
H E Y says they. Let's put our pen down. Let's look at it. Let's sky write two more times. Ready? Look at it. Be loud. T H E Y says they. Now close your eyes and do it. T H E Y says they. Can you do it without looking? Can you try writing it on your own and then check it with me? All right, let's check. T H E Y says they. Good job. Now, do you remember how to spell the word as? Listen to how I use it. I am as happy as can be. I am as fast as a rabbit. Oh, remember? A-S says as. Let's write it. A-S says as. That S can sound like a Z. Do you remember how to spell his? It also has an S that can sound like a Z. That is his shoe. H-I-S says his. All right, let's get ready for our sentence. Let's go ahead and write our cops. Capital, order, punctuation, spelling. Punctuation might be a period for a telling sentence. Question mark for a question, exclamation point for a sentence to show expression. Here's our sentence. The dog has a pup. Let's count our words. The dog has a pup. All right, start at the beginning, edge to edge. The dog, start with an uppercase, a capital. The, leave some space, dog. The dog, oh, do you need to tap out dog? D dog, make sure you have a D. The dog has, let's tap out has, has. The dog has a pup. Let's tap out pup, p up. The dog has a pup. Now I'm telling you the dog has a pup. It's a telling sentence, so it just gets a period because I'm not asking, I'm telling you something. I'm telling you the dog has a pup, period at the end. Do you have the order right? One, two, three, four, five. The dog has a pup. And remember, we tap out our words to help us spell it right. All right, good job today, boys and girls.